good to see you. Good. So, so it's been about four months ago you had your toe injury. How, how's the recovery process going? And, and that injury can be a career ender for some guys. Did, did you ever think it was going to be that serious? Uh, not not really. Uh, at this point, I'm doing well, and surgery went well. Rehab's been going well. But when it happened, I thought I was probably going to miss a game or two. And to, to get the news that it was a, a grade three, it was, it was tough for me. Hey, Joukowsky, what was this the last two weeks or last whatever, 10 days been like for you as far as did you think that the 49ers were going to be an option for you and and how much interaction did you have with teams around the league? Uh, I had a I had a lot of interest, but it, I mean, it was a lot. It was stressing, you know, because I mean, I, I've been here my whole time in, in the NFL. So, I mean, it's 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 like a, a family here. So for me, it was just just coming back to where I was familiar with. Hey, Joukowsky, you, you do have some family in New York, and we keep hearing about Robert Sala um, taking all these uh, 49ers free agents. Was that um, on the radar? Or did you did you talk to the Jets, and um, what was the, uh, the background there? Uh, it was a. I mean, they reached out to my agents, but I think uh, they 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 have Marcus May there, so they kind of saw us as the same player. So, uh, yeah, that's the most I've I heard about that. Hey, Jukowski, welcome back. Uh, right after the season, I know a lot of guys. Um, you know, there was just so much uncertainty with the salary cap and and the Forty Nine ers situation, and. Um, you know, kind of halfway didn't expect to be able to come back. What was your feeling like right after the season? Were you pretty much up in the air or based on conversations, did you have a sense you might return? Uh, I was, honestly, I was up in the air. I wasn't sure because of, you know, me coming off the injury. I wasn't sure if they was going to want me back here or not. But, uh, I mean, they did. I, and that was a, a good thing for me because of, I felt like I, I left a lot on the field last year. Uh so I mean I'm I'm glad to be back here. Hey Jaquaski. What does it mean to you to come back and be a part of the 49ers again, especially with your longtime teammate Jimmy Ward? Uh it means everything, you know, uh just being here the whole time and you know, uh it's a first class organization and to to be back one more year with Jimmy and to, to have a complete season. With, with both me and Jimmy on the field, it's something I, 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 it's something I, you know, I guess me and him always wanted to do to show, to show the NFL like we we can be the top two tandem that we that we believe we are. Hi, Jaquaski. Um, I just wonder what you thought of, uh, you know, the team's offseason moves and what the buzz is between you guys and the group chats about what you guys are putting together for the upcoming season. Uh, I mean, that was a big reason why I wanted to come back here because of the the team we have. The you know, just the, my brothers, uh, uh, Trent Williams. Obviously, we needed him for sure. Uh, but I mean, it's a lot of guys. Uh, it's a lot of guys would like do do so much that that go undervalued. Well, undervalued, but uh, like Juice. Trent trying to get KK back, like a lot of guys are very valuable to the team and to to have that is is everything to help with a run, to help go on the playoff run. It, starting in twenty seventeen, every game you've played for the 49ers, you've been a starter. Uh you know, today they bring in uh Tavon Wilson, of course, uh Tarvarius and Marcel are back. Has the team basically told you that you know, you get your starting job, or have they told you that you, just like everybody, you're going to have to compete for it and win the job? Right, it's, it's all competition, and, and that's what it's been since Kyle and John been here. It's, all, it's always been competition. They just, you know, they're just not going to hand anyone a job. So, I mean, for me anyway, I I approach every every day as if like somebody trying to take my job. So that that's just how it is. Hey, you mentioned some uncertainty about just because of uh, of your injury. Uh, was that just because of they may not have known about your availability uh, for next year, or just because of injuries in general and the way last year went? 
they might be trying to to move on. Uh, it was really just from my side, just thinking, you know, uh, just going into last year, I, I knew and wanted to finish the season healthy, and that I and I didn't. So I mean, for me, it was just like, man, they probably, you know, I I haven't been the most available player, so maybe you know they won't don't want me back. So I mean, I'm glad I'm glad I'm here. One of the reasons they they want you back, and, and John Lynch said so in the statement, was what a great communicator you are in the secondary. If Richard Sherman's not back, and if Kwan's not back, what, what is your role in terms of kind of settling things down and getting the the right calls out there, guys? Uh, my role is simple, like just go out and do what I've been doing. Just you know, communicate, make sure everybody lined up. Uh, you know, just I mean, Fred, Jimmy, like we we all we all communicate as a defense. It's just not one player, so. I mean, for us, it's just, you know, it's all about communication, especially when I'm on the field. It's just like over-communicate. Hey, Jaquanti, congrats on the new deal. Uh, how, how excited are you to work with D'Amico Ryans? How do you think he'll differ from Robert Sala? And do you think your role will change at all? I mean, I'm, I'm very excited. I mean, uh, hopefully I get the blitz 12, 12 times a game. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not – I mean, I'm not – Sure, how D'Amico will run everything, but I have, I have full confidence in D'Amico can get the job done. He will get the job done. Nikoski, you mentioned Fournier is bringing back Trent Williams, Juice. Have you done any recruiting of trying to get Kwan to come back? And how do you feel? I mean, those guys aren't on your side of the ball, but how much does it bring back to the team those key guys on the offense? Uh, I mean, I've, I've been in communication with KK. Uh, for him, is is. He's he's gonna do his, the best thing for him, and I I mean I feel like the best thing for him to come here. So, but it, it'd be great to get him back. Uh, but I mean on the defensive side, he's 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 another guy that's that's very valuable to our secondary. So hopefully we can get him back. Hey Jaquaski, a, a few of you have mentioned over the last week that it's like a family there, and you wanted to come back to that family atmosphere. Where does that start? Do you think in the organization? It's, I mean, you can you can start it from the janitors, the 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 cooks, the chefs, like everybody, like everybody is like you know, you just feel like they're your brother or sister, like it, it's just a great environment to be in, like, and and from from other players who come from other teams that come here, they they always man, they always say man, I I ain't used to this, so it's like just knowing like since I've been here for all my years in NFL to hear that is like, okay, well, I know I'm in a, I'm in a great place. We'll do these last two for Kwaski. Kwaski, um, seeing the moves that have been made around the NFC West, it's arguably the best division in football. So how excited are you guys get back on the field and get back to where you were just a couple of years ago in the Super Bowl? It, hey, I'm very excited. Uh, it's going to be a great year for the Niners. When free agency started, you guys had so many guys in the defensive backfield who were free agents, and now you know several of those guys are back. How do you feel about just the entire composition right now of the defensive backfield? And if Kwan isn't back, who do you have confidence in who could step up and fill that nickelback role? Uh, to be honest, I mean a lot of guys are our secondary. A lot of guys can play, so I mean I, I think if Kwan don't come back, we'll have. We have many guys that's in place ready to play. Cool. All right. Thank you, guys. Hold on. One more thing. Make sure you subscribe.